campers, welcome to my ca the casual car camper. I'm your host Brian, and welcome to my second video on my tag sale, yard sale, whatever you want to call it, haul video. So in the same uh, trip that I went to and showed you the cooler and all the other things, I actually did pick up some co coffee pots. I got a nice little one cup for. Perfect size for backpacking, or whatever, or you know, or if you don't drink a lot of coffee, perfect little one cup unit. And okay, I didn't break it. So got a little one cup, got a big twenty copper, and then I found this for five dollars at a church tag sale. It's the only thing I found it found there, but it is a standard looking coffee pot with that is actually designed to work with the 12 volt system so uh, this is the second time I've tried a 12 volt unit it's still got the instruction manual and everything I need for that it doesn't even look like it's been used that much but what I want to do is I'm, I always clean things before I test them so oh wow this may never have been used. It's still got most of its original packaging. It's still got its original uh, paper insert. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean all this up. We're going to try this out. We're going to these um, I are very used. Uh, if you can see. very very black so I'm going to show you how to clean these up we're going to clean these up and get these going then the next weekend while I was out at a estate sale I found this Stanley it's in really good shape cups not really badly stained when you open it it's fairly clean on the inside so it's in really good shape I just want to clean it up before I use it because it does have some white residue so I'm going to show you how to wash this, wash all this stuff tonight, and I'll tell you what I think of all this stuff. Um, so the process for these really overused kettles is going to include leaving it sit overnight. So it'll be a video with the, the first stages and then a video of me just the next morning finishing up or next day. I'll probably let it sit for 24 hours. All right, be right back. I gotta set up the sink in my kitchen. Okay, campers, we are back. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm filling up my sink with soapy water. I had to let the sink run for a minute so that I could get it nice and hot. You want it as hot as possible. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to wear gloves while doing this because it should be hotter than you're, you can normally handle. And that's gonna help uh, break up any stuck on stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I always recommend pulling everything apart so I'm going to pull the lids off I'm going to take and dismantle the whole unit put them in now there's this doesn't look like it really comes apart easily. Yeah, it does. It comes right across part. But this is glass, and I've had these kind of break if you're not careful. So the better suggestion is to take a, just a little bit of soap, put it on the inside, fill it up with water. I apologize for the... Uh, awkwardness so we're going to fill this up with water and we're just going to carefully put this to the side of our sink inside of our tank and then so this is still filling so we're gonna also these cups I don't like to submerge because it, it can actually break them down so I'm going to do the exact same thing just a little bit of soap a little bit of hot water, put it off to the side, and 
What can sometimes happen is residue and bacteria can build up on the seal behind behind the seal on the plastic. So what you're going to want to pull the rubber seal off and just throw that in with the stopper. That'll be fine submerged. Um, and same thing with the Stanley thermos. You're going to just put a little soap in, and I want to get this very old, old. I mean, the I have a feeling this is unused because it still has the sales stickers on it. Or if it did get used, it got used very little. I think it's most of the wear on it looks like it's been sitting for in a damp place. So we're gonna fill all that up. You're gonna put whatever will fit into your sink in your hot soapy water and you're going to let that I usually like to let this sit for five to ten minutes the heat will a should kill most bacteria and also help loosen any actual dirt and make it easier for it to clean and I'll be I'll be back in a few minutes I'm gonna let this sit for five okay campers we are back Gonna put on our gloves. Best thing to do. Excuse my uh, air dry dishes. Is we're gonna start with the glass because we want that. I'm gonna get this quick clean. Like I said, the the glass piece seemed brand new. I didn't. It didn't look like this has been used. Like it was opened and then never used for camping. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna. We gave it a good scrub. It sat with soapy hot soapy water in it, and we're just going to rinse that out, and so that we have more room in here, we're gonna wash out, finish cleaning out our, our cup. Okay, so this is really deep and long, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get a sponge on a stick. You can get these even at your local dollar store, so they're everywhere. Various lengths can be had. Just going to get this nice and clean. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you get all the soap out. You want this absolutely positively clean of soap because soap has toxic properties and it acts as a diuretic, so you don't want the, that. And we're going to clean the outside, especially up around the top, around the mouthpiece, just to make sure everything's nice and clean. Rinse it off. Now a recommendation when you're storing your Stanleys, it's also going to be in your in, in the manual if you get the manual with it, is to store the cup and the lids separate, not in the thermos, so that the thermos can dry out. All right, so now here here's what the main event. So I'm going to start just with the cloth and see what we can get off of this. And as you can see it's already coming clean. So phase two may not be necessary. But and what I'm doing is I'm just using pressure and speed. I'm pushing hard and then moving quickly to try and get the excess off. Now Theoretically, you could also, if you want, to use a, a wire, but I don't know how much how, what these has been through, so I don't want to use too abra much abrasive. 
So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to scrub them out as best I can with the soft scrubbers and then after I've done that to get the really bad stains out we're good is going to be the next step As you can see this one is in pretty good shape and is cleaning up really quickly on the inside here the only thing that seems to be an issue Uh, probably gonna need stage two too there's a lot of it's really tight to get in so there's a lot of areas that I'm knocking all of the coffee residue that in the stains out and always remember to <laughs> after you pull your rubber stopper off of your Stanley make sure you actually wash it and pull it out and let it, it dry as well okay campers that is the first round of dishes the only thing that hasn't got soaked and washed by hand is this very dirty pot so we're gonna put this in we're gonna leave it for another five to ten minutes the water is still nice and hot and then depending on how clean it comes out we're gonna go to the next stage okay campers uh, the big pot has had plenty of time to sit so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the inside and see how much of this is staining and how much of it's just it needs a good cleaning What I'm doing is I'm going down the sides first, up and down, putting pressure and rotating. Okay, so on the outside I am using a steel steel wool steel scrubber because this has obviously been used over wood or charcoal as well as propane because there's just that much built up soot. And I have a spare one this size. <laughs> so let's see if we can clean up the inside any better just using a little more scrub. Okay campers, with a quite a bit of scrubbing and just using a lot of water in there so I didn't do too much damage, I was able to get a lot of that that wasn't even seen. That was just caked on coffee ground. So and coffee. So what I'm going to recommend is what if you get one of these new, or you know when you buy one of these and you use it a lot, make sure you wash it out, clean out really thoroughly, and don't let the coffee build up on the bottom because that will one affect your heating because it's going to create an ins insulating layer between your fuel source. And the hot water and the water so it won't heat up as quickly also it had a bad taste so the whole the whole thing is is you know life's too short to drink bad coffee and if you start out with good coffee and your coffee pot's making it bad well that's still no fun so what i'm going to do is i'll be right back i'm going to get everything together so that i can show you how i'm going to try and get some of the stains out of these pots now okay campers i am back and what I have to do this cleaning with is we're again going to use the sink. We're going to get some hot water going, which we have it. And we're going to put all of our parts that we want to de stain and pretty up into the water. No soap, just water. We need all this stuff in here. And you could 
just put all the parts into the coffee pots and just fill the coffee pots. The reason I'm using a wash basin is because I want to try to clean up the outsides as well. Because let's see what we can do. Okay, so that's starting to get a little higher than I want before I put in my oh there. Okay, so while this is going pouring and hopefully hot, nice and hot, is what we're going to do, we're going to take some baking soda. Now, this is a trick I learned from Stanley. This is how you can clean up and get the patina out of their pots and their thermoses. Now, they say about two tablespoons for about 32 ounces of water. I'm going to be using a lot more water and... These things are pretty dirty, so I'm going to use about half a box. Now, this is an experiment as much as anything else. We're going to find out together t tomorrow evening when I get home from work if this works. Okay, campers, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this soak overnight and get, um, and then try cleaning it, give it a good scrub in the, when I get home, and hope that. The reason I'm using hot water is so that it dissolves the baking soda, but I'm also running my hands in here and trying to just move the, agitate the baking soda until it dissolves, because it, unless it's dissolved, it's not going to do any good. So, also why I, I like to put it in as I'm filling the water, because if you put it in before you put the water in, a lot of times it's going to clump up. If you put it in afterwards, you're not getting that agitation from the water going in, so you wait to get, you know, about quarter way up and start putting the baking soda in so it dissolves into the water. All right, campers, we are back. It's been 24 hours. Let's pull these out of the water. Okay, so if you look down here, or look on the sides here, So you can see the line, the little bit that was above, and how this is actually, it's actually lighter. We're going to take and give this a quick scrub and look at the line that way. Okay, campers, that's a good, good uh, wipe down. It, it's a little cleaner on the outside, a little, little newer looking, a little shinier. The inside looks a little cleaner, and it's much better than... It's not black on the inside anymore, so it looks a lot better. So I'm really happy with how it came out, especially considering it only cost me two dollars and didn't take that much elbow grease. So as you can see, as I'm wiping it out, this is this piece as I wipe around is getting cleaner. So I'm going to finish clean scrubbing these down, and rinsing them off, but. As you can see, it did clean it up quite a bit, just leaving in the baking soda overnight. So for two, three, the two, three dollars I paid for each of these, I got something that brand new is going to be twenty dollars, and a little bit of elbow grease, and have a nice, clean units. Okay, campers, that's going to. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. And remember, as always, as if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a message down below or contact me on the Casual Car Camper on Facebook. Link is in the description below. And always, remember, as long as you're having fun, you're doing camping right.